travels in the wake of the wild rat Marcus Road. Uh, after a while, they come upon the creature, uh, dehydrated, exhausted, about a, after five minutes of running. They progress at the rat's direction towards the village of Yocho, now carrying it. A solid two hours later, they finally arrive after many, many wrong turns. Hmm. We probably should have found someone who could speak the rat's language before we took directions from it. Uh, Are you even not listening to me? I can language. speak its native tongue. Uh, Goes a little something like this. Uh, 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 oh, it's okay. Like, Ash, were you some... keeping a, keeping a map so we can? Yes, I I mapped uh, I mapped the way here. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's not doing so hot. He should have mapped like the way here before we came here so we could follow it. That's not how maps work, Gregor. Guys, how they always work guys, for me. Do you think what? Do you think I have to put him down? What? No! Just yeah. send him back to I'm okay. surprised you could carry hey, him this hey, far. Buddy, you take this water skin here. Marcus pulls a water skin out of his pack. And you know what? I'm gonna leave you with the rest of these pig giblets. <laughs> That's right, those are all for you. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. Uh, wandering forward, Kier looks around the small village. Oh, so this is like this is like agriculture, right? Agriculture. Everything looks yeah, dead. Agriculture. It does. We're actually. dying. What a crappy farm this is. It just needs a little tender love and care. It's a little. It's like a little pretty, but also a little like a little mm. dead. It's... We some. If we found some gravel, we could rub into the soil. It'd probably improve. Didn't it. you farm rocks, Gregor? Yeah. I How does that work? I don't. Well, they start as gravel. Yeah, I don't think that does work. Um, we just need to find some. I don't think that's Okay, works. let's not get sidetracked here. Excuse we're here, me, sir. We're here for flowers. All right. We're here for flowers, Gregor. That man is uh, clearly picking some sad tomatoes. Oh my god. They're tragic. I, uh, but that's... He, wow. <laughs> they are, they're not so much tomatoes as they are... Uh, well, I mean... Tomatoes. Rotten. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Cure pluck swan not, uh, and wanders very, away. Very odd. Eyes on the prize, team. Eyes on the prize. You're, I don't know if a flower would be growing here. Oh, watch your step. Yeah, I, I carefully step across the broken bridge. What a shitty bridge. <laughs> Why hasn't anybody fixed that? Or a shitty raft. Oh, yeah. Good thinking, <laughs> Kier. I always like how you think outside the box. And outside the box, which the box is in. Yeah, I'm not such a fan of boxes. No, I know You're, that. You I know, know that. I know you that. know me in boxes. Yeah. You don't like to be constrained, and I understand that. Oh. Is that a man trapped under some rocks? Help me, I'm trapped under some goddamn rocks! Oh, oh God! I um, think you're right. That... <laughs> it's a good thing that I speak rock. I rush up to the uh, the man trapped under the boulders. How, how big are the boulders? Rocks. Are they, in fact, boulders? They're pretty substantially sized, yeah. Okay. Let me take care of this. Gregor lifts one with ease. <laughs> or at least it appears that way. <laughs> I pull the man out from uh, under the rocks as Gregor lifts the thing up. I can't understand their dialect. <laughs> Pull the man out from under the rocks while Marcus snores at them. <laughs> Can he, uh, is he out? Yes, Because this Gregor, is really easy out. to hold. Gregor, you're really right, super good. strong. It also looks like you're going to die if you hold that any longer. Wow, you can see all, all of the veins popping out on your forehead. Wow, wow that Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That was kind of incredible. Thank you for saving me from under those goddamn rocks. Uh, he stands up and shakes Ash's hand. And you, boy, you're quite uh, strong. I know. He shakes Gregor's hand. My name is Relef. A pleasure to meet you. Relef. I like your headband. Uh, I'm, I'm Gregor Hartway. I looked the man over. Is he at all squished? Uh, he's minorly squished, yeah. Like a little, like a little squished. Oh. It appears my leg has been slightly messed up. I'd walk over to greet you, tall man over there, but you know how it is. Getting trapped under rocks. Marcus stands up majestically on a rock. His cape blows in the wind. Why, hello there. Marcus Velafi, a pleasure. And I'm Kier Fiore. I'm, I'm pretty strong, but I mean, clearly not, a, not as strong as Gregor. Oh, no, but he's pretty strong. Mm. Yeah, I bet you could lift a I'm rock Ash. or two. Pretty strong, maybe. <laughs> or one. Well, regardless, it's a pleasure to meet you. What brings you to Yocho today? You here to help build the new stone bridge? Huh. No. no. Oh, that we look like laborers to you, Marcus. Uh, gently, <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, he tips his head over at Gregor and Kier. These two look like it, yeah. And I was kind of hoping that someone would come and help, just in case, you know, I happen to fall and get trapped under some goddamn rocks. How did that even happen? Yeah, how does this happen? Marcus looks up at the sky. Did they? Did they come from? Did, did you did stack they... the rocks like straight? No, no, up? no, no. Delivery straight from Jinkala. 
The gold clan delivered what? a big pile of rocks, but they're not going to help me build the bridge. Got to like, do that myself. Like with a catapult? No, 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 no. You see, Jin Cullen warriors are pretty strong, pretty tough, much bigger than myself. Okay, okay, okay. So the rocks got here because of Shinkala, but how did you get trapped under the rocks? Have you tried to pick up a rock before? <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you understand how it yes. can happen, boy? He turns and looks at Gregor. No, it was pretty easy, actually. Marcus <laughs> pauses from attempting to lift one of the rocks. <laughs> the yeah. rocks wobbled dangerously in your direction. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think hey, I can see exactly step where... away from that, Marcus? <laughs> okay. Fine. I will defer to you on this one, Ash. All right, so... Uh, we all know you've relief. got a head for rocks. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's relief. It's relief. 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 It's, it's relief. Re it's relief. Relief. That's a relief. <sighs> uh, Kira high fives Marcus immediately. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so relief. We're uh, we're looking for a flower. We're actually trying to be aiming for being the champions for the Gold Clan. Oh, uh, another group of Mercs coming through town. I know how it is. Oh, no, no, no. We're adventurers. We're, we're not, not, mercs. not Mercs. Not mercs. Yeah, we're no, not we mercs. have way more style than your average Merc. They're looking to be champions. I'm looking to be, I don't know, superhero? Double champion? Like, two champions taped together, like, but in one person. Yeah, I don't really know how the ranking system works, but uh, yeah. I guess I'll find out eventually when I'm I'm sure that you will champion. top the ranking system, whatever it is, Gregor. Yeah. I'm <laughs> president. So, Relif. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not, we're nicer than Mercs, I think. Yeah, but Mercs wouldn't save you from under that really light rock. Marcus waggles his hand a little bit. You know, that's a damn yeah, good point. Or they'd, try and, or they'd try and get you to pay them to do it. That's a damn good point. Speaking of, if you had any money, we would not mind paying. Marcus! Me. Okay, all right, okay. Marcus. Sure <laughs> backing off, backing off. So, you're after something, something, something? Wasn't really listening. Too busy focused on the rocks uh, and the uh, incredible pain running through my leg right now. It hurts a lot. You want blood to give him a hand with that, Ash? Blood spurts in a direction. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> All right, wow. you know, I just, I don't like to usually. I kneel down and grab the man's leg. <laughs> I mean, I can bandage him up if you'd prefer. Why don't you like to? A green spark jumps from my hand and slithers through his leg. There she goes. Okay, my leg's back together. Crushed and uncrushed within 30 minutes. Hell of a day so far. <laughs> yeah, so I'd stand back up, kind of waving my hand. If you would, um, we're looking for a flower or alternative, alternatively, the most... What was it? The most, the most best beautiful and expensive. Yes, not not a flower, but goddamn mother they didn't of God! Specify holy flower. shit! You're after the flower too? Two? You what? Just Who? one of them. Wait a minute. Are you competition? Probably. Marcus cracks his knuckles. <laughs> Marcus, watch out for the rocks. <laughs> the the Marcus rocks wobble. Trips over one of the rocks. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the rocks wobble at you aggressively. You know, in their own language, they're out for blood. He scoots away from the rocks, panting. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm something of the mayor or guardian of this town. Oh, that's handy. Mayor. Yeah. So, mayor, so you're you the say, mayor here. You say that's better or worse than a champion? Better and worse in its own unique way. Used to be gods around these parts, you see? Used to be a god of the harvest that people used to follow around, just eating the apples that fell right out of his butt. Um... <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Ever since that creature disappears, well, people have had to set, lay down roots. Me, I'm happy to take the place of that god for whatever that means. And right now that means I gotta build some bridges over these wooden planks. They're very dangerous. We lost two last week alone. What? This is a tiny little channel. How do you, how do you lose two people in this? I don't look know. Look fall. I don't know, Ash. These look pretty unsafe. Well, but like... I could I could jump across Marcus this. Marcus jumps up and Easy. down on the board. This is intensely rickety. Me me and Marcus <laughs> have some experience, you know, checking if buildings are up to code or not up to code. Oh yeah, Marcus takes out a hammer and begins hitting the center board. This is extremely <laughs> not up to code. <laughs> There aren't any nails in this at all. I mean, how can you have a board without nails in it, really? Right? It's I don't even think, I don't think it qualifies as a board without any nails in it. <laughs> Here, I can right, solve so your problem right now. Gregor attempts to pick up a large rock. Gregor succeeds. And then just put it over here! Oh, back, back, back off, Kier, back off. <laughs> Gregor wobbles the rock over to the channel and tosses it in. <laughs> It begins to block the water. Wide berth. <laughs> the water begins to pool and eddy around the uh, around the rock. It's actually quite pretty. There you go. Huh. So did did you? Oh no. You know what? All right. You're the mayor. You're building stone bridges for some reason. Built stone Where's bridges. Where's the flower? Yes. Yeah, yes. The flower. 
I mean, you're not the first to come for it. Right. Oh, yeah, you did mention that. Was there another Merc that came through Have here? they died mysteriously? Quite a while ago, actually. Mercs have been filtering through here ever since the toll boy found that flower out in the wilds. Oh, so wait, somebody found the flower? Yeah, came back with news of it. Said it was brilliant and beautiful. Well, wait, and okay, where did good. That, did they take it? No. Yeah, that affirms what we need it to be, but did they take it? Where is it? Oh, that boy was always a little bit strange. Tended to wander around the wilds for just extended periods of time, even with, you know, the horrible monsters out there. Finds a flower one day, says, you know, it'll solve all the village's problems, probably heal up the flowers and make our tomatoes not rot from the insides. Doesn't pick it, leaves town the next day, never see him again. Fucking weird kid. Are you huh. sure that you know how to farm? Yeah, like, like uh, correctly. Are you sure the soil's just, are you sure the soil's just not overburdened? Are you I'm giving sure you your plants of these water? small rocks and kind of put them in the... In the earth. I've lived plenty of places all across Honoran, and nothing is quite like this place. It's like the life is being sapped directly out of the earth, all around you. And the rocks are murderous! He points at the pile of rocks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, well... Why don't you, uh, this so, is, like, I'm an expert in living dumb places in the world, and this seems like a not, <laughs> not a great place to live. Like, I want to live yeah. here. You should, like, move, you should move somewhere else. You should probably move yeah. next to a place that has, yeah. like, a big evil prison next to it. You should... Probably not live somewhere where everything is dying. I mean, what if everything I, I dies wherever like, he that's lives? Just poor judgment. But Gregor, that's rude. This is the place we've come yeah. to settle. It's the place we know and love. How about you settle the plot of land like directly west of here? Yeah. Or something. I mean, we saw plenty, of, plenty of tillable soil on the way like, here. Like really, like, lots of really nice trees. Guys, if you need to cut those down, what? Good else. rivers. You'd what would you say if someone said to you? Settle not in the in the Nine Shrines Adventures and Dines bar. I don't sleep in the bar. This you kid. Don't? Well, what if someone told no. you you had to? This kid knows what's up. We've got children. We got elderly. We got a dangerous river running through the middle of town. I look at the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it gurgles. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> this is the place we've come to know and love. We've built our houses here. I want to raise my kids here. It's well, I great. suppose that you can't help it if you're idiots. Marcus kind of mumbles that to himself. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, even if you do want to raise your kids here, it's not going to do much good to raise them in a place where everything's super crappy. And the tomatoes rot from the inside. How but what are you eating? Th they're one of the easiest plants to, to plant. You can just eat the outside of well, the tomatoes. Well, we receive occasional food shipments from Jinkala, but some of us have taken to eating the tomatoes, which is currently what's happening. To Don't eat them. Don't do that. That's, that's a terrible that's idea. That's really bad. Maybe. If you're eating rotten tomatoes, you should probably leave. Like, it, that's a bad, bad thing that you have to do. Maybe well, turn them into liquor. Can you do that? Is there tomato liquor? I don't no, know. I hope Note so. Note to self. Here, jot this down. See if we can make booze out of tomatoes. Oh, I was too busy trying to think of, you know, unique and interesting ways to maybe kill that clearly hostile rock pile over there, but tomato booze is even better. Yeah, I'll get to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> you said something about fixing all your problems that this kid... Didn't do? Well, you, I mentioned uh, a certain deity wandering the plains, pooping out goodness for everyone. Oh, I remember. Yep. Creature vanishes into the wilds. Uh, Radom Forest, to be precise. And, you know, mm -hmm. we don't ever see the creature again. So, uh, one of our boys, like I said, the toll kid, goes wandering around in those woods. Okay. Happens upon a flower of unusual life force. Says it'll solve all of our goddamn problems if we brought it back. But then he didn't. Uh -huh. I wonder if that flower has anything to do with the flower we're trying to find. I bet they are one in the same, Gregor. Is he still in the village? Because, I mean, we oh, he disappeared. should probably talk to him about oh, it. But oh, but his brother he... is. Oh. Uh, oh. Huh. Well, we can start our investigation there, then. Yeah. Let's interrogate yeah. his brother, I... then. And uh, you said that there was another merc. Just one merc that came for it, or... Many mercs have come over the past goddamn few months looking for this thing. How tough did huh. they look? Uh, uh, respect respectably tough? You don't look very tough, but you could lift a goddamn rock. Well, I mean, respectively tough is all right. I was hoping for a little more of a challenge. Marcus mm. leans over to Gregor. Hey, Gregor? <laughs> Interrogate is a bit of a strong word. Um, I, It is? It really, really is. So maybe if you just say question from now on, that would be good. But since when it is, is it a strong word? Interrogate Gregor interrogates implies. Marcus. <laughs> Uh, interrogate <laughs> implies the breaking of fingers, Gregor. Oh. Yeah. 
And you weren't planning on breaking any fingers, were you? No, I mean, I'm pretty good at punching. I I know the technique. I'm not likely to injure myself. Well, anyway. (laughs) (laughs) I could could point you in the direction of the house. Um, If you find the flower, I would... uh, well, I do, I do, I, um, hmm, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, if you found the flower and I, bring, brought it back to us, I'd, uh, I'd build a- Look, a, Relif, I, I understand, I understand. You want the flower for your village, but, I mean- We've got to prove we're we, the best. It's kind, kind of. of important, because we want lots <laughs> well, of I mean, I did my job, I left a boulder. Yeah. So. Well, he knows we'll I'm talk best. about it, Le- Relif. Well, once we have the flower, we can talk things over, but I honestly just think it'd be a better idea to move. There's kind of a lot of money on the line. I, well, more so than that. It, well, right, but you know, the main thing I'm fixated on right now is the heaps of cash. Right? Yeah. Like, think about all the good we could do with that money. Yeah. You're, we could you're all around put it all showing, in Marcus. Gold cozies to keep it safe. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, mostly we just need to, need to put the gold cozies around something before they try to couple with any of us. Yeah. We do I, need uh, to refill the money pit a bit. <laughs> I roll my eyes, turning back to Relief. So, uh, where's um, the brother's house? Where's the boy's brother's house? He points straight ahead of himself past you. Oh, okay. If you'll excuse me, I'm going back to building myself a bridge. You okay. probably shouldn't. Good luck. Don't Good luck. lie. Just we'll be take... back to save you later. <laughs> Here, Marcus holds out a sack. These gold cozies are getting a little bit uppity. Can you give them other, another dose of tranquilizer? Oh, you know I can. Kier, Kier pulls out a paddle and whacks the sack on the <laughs> side. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, by the way, watch out for the Cathrati out there. The what? Cathrati. Catharsis? Big nightmare monsters. Giant bird creatures. They have tiny knives and opposable thumbs. Oh my god. The, uh, what? Um, yeah, watch out. I don't think that's... They will cut you. That's that true. That's awful. Where are they getting the knives and thumbs from? So they're what? They're just out there waiting to cut you? Yes, and they're big, violent gangs. Gangs? They're organized? Yes. What are their gang uh, colors? I hope we're not wearing... Wait a second. I don't think they really have gangs. They're just dumb, idiot bird monsters. You know these things, Gregor? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. They don't have do. thumbs. And oh. let's hope they haven't found the technology. The, the, to, to get the, thumbs. The thumb technology. Yeah. Or knives. Don't worry, Kier has that under wraps. Well, they couldn't have knives if they didn't have thumbs. They could, but I mean... And they I don't mean, ask. if we're being fully honest, the thumber majigger only works with felines and nothing else. Which is why it oh, must it never, ever see the light of day. Ever. <laughs> so, all right, anyway. that I guess, I don't know, when our, if slash when we encounter them, Gregor, we'll... Refer to you, I guess. You'll take a point. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be... You gotta watch out for their knife-like hands. So oh, they basically do have knives, then. Yeah. But not thumbs. Okay. Well, that's really At least they uh, can't grasp. At least they can't grasp. At least they can't. I look the house up and down. It's a shit shack. Is it- Marcus tries the handle. Uh, it's open. Marcus opens the door and Marcus, sweeps in. You knock. Oh, oh, right. Right. oh, it smells May like. we come in? It smells like gross in here. Um, he's you clearly can. he's clearly unconscious. Um, I check the body. I, I step he, inside. He he's still breathing. Kier wanders over to the table. Marcus there's, begins CPR. There's a there's a half-eaten, uh, gross tomato Rotten over, tomato? over yeah. here. Don't worry, buddy. I'll keep your heart going. Mm. One, two, three, four, a five, clue. six. Am I supposed to stop at any point? Seven. <laughs> yeah, you are. Nine. Marcus, go ahead and just stop. Okay. I, te- I check the man for a fever and take his pulse. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a little feverish. Like, you okay. wouldn't say he's... that his life's in danger. It's just, mm. uh... Right. He's just... Sick. Marcus casts Detect Poison. Uh, yeah, he's been poisoned. Oh, food fuck, he's, poisoned. Been, he's been poisoned. It's food poison. I think it came from this tomato. Hmm. Gregor sniffs I the think tomato. That's a safe assumption, Greg. Maybe. But we need to test. Do we? No. Marcus, Here, take Marcus grabs to the, the lab. tomato as it's halfway to Gregor's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just no, Gregor. Okay. Maybe I can reverse engineer a cure. A, a cure for Oh, yeah, food I bet you wish we tested it now. Please. The best cure for any illness is laughter. Kier pulls out a jar of oil, draws a mustache on himself, highlights his eyebrows, and looks down at the man, making funny faces. You're totally right. Marcus puts the Kier, rotten tomato onto his nose, like a big foam rubber nose, and his shoes inflate. <laughs> <laughs> While the two of you do look very funny, that's not going to do a man who doesn't have his eyes open much good. Honk, honk. 
I I, I don't get situate it. the man and prop him up against the wall, kind of patting patting him on the face to wake him up. Wake him up. Come on. Uh, hey, I. This is incredibly strange, and I apologize for intruding in your home. We're here to for interrogate myself you and my comrades, Gregor Kindly, <laughs> without <laughs> any breaking just, of fingers, and also clowns. We just have some questions about your brother. Want to hear a Cole. joke? Yes. Lighten the mood. Oh no! Now I've been, now I'm on the spot. Okay. Um. <clears throat> He's really sick. Cure panics. <laughs> uh, the man stares at you. My my brother, are you are you looking for him? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, yes we are. and we're looking for the flower that he found. Flower. Mostly for the also flower. Him. But also for him. Here, I I grab uh, my water skin from my belt and hand it to him. Just take a drink. Also, Is br- that water in there, may- Ash? Maybe smile, maybe smile a little bit in the process. That, that would probably help out a little, little yeah. bit. I, I stopped frowning. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking to you, Ash. Oh. I we got we got some good again. clown, bad clown going on right here. It's very yeah, good. No, exactly. <laughs> Marcus's <laughs> grin stretches like rick- rictus-like over his face. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the man drinks deep from the water skin. Uh, thank you. Um, Radham Woods. Found it in Radham Woods. Great. Marcus turns so- around to leave. <laughs> Where? Like, can you point us in a direction? Out, out the hat. Take a left. Leave, leave the house. Take a left. Keep going. You're gonna be okay. Tomato, inside. Yeah. Okay. Don't eat those. I'm gonna leave a loaf of bread on on this table over here. And a nice can of Kier. And a nice can of Kier. And what you're gonna want to do is, when you're feeling up to it, you're gonna want to wolf both of those down as quickly as you can. (laughs) Okay. The red, the red deity comes to me in my sleep. What? Tomato. No. Oh, he collapses. Okay. Oh. Tragic. I reach into my pack and get a handful of trail mix and just kind of place it on his chest. <laughs> well, we've done all we can do. I guess we Marcus can. Marcus leaves. Maybe when he's not horking up his guts. Another step towards my medical degree. <laughs> You'll get there one day, kid. I'm just going to leave, you know, our joke book behind just in case he's hungry for a smile. Ah, uh-huh, good idea. We have a joke book? Yeah, of course. Since when? Yeah, ever, ever since we wrote it in that fevered haze. It was great. We, oh, it was during the fevered haze. Yeah, remember when we got trapped under the bar for three days? I just remember constructing a treehouse underground. <laughs> oh, yeah, good times. Yeah, we, we produced about three or four joke books. Huh. The rest of them are a little explicit, though. Oh, well, I guess we should hold on to those then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> until, the, until, the, until the market's ready for them. <laughs> I, I grab the can of Kier on my way out, and as Kier's not looking, chuck it around the corner of the house deep Great, into the let's woods. let's go. Marcus's shoes return to normal size. <laughs> you hear a detonation. <laughs> hey, 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 Kier, get this. What's that? So that loaf of bread? Yeah. Don't. Don't 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 let the guy know this, but it was full of snakes. <laughs> oh, that is a good one, <laughs> right? He's gonna love it. Oh, he's gonna love it so much. <laughs> Smiles everywhere. Also, snakes, uh, snakes everywhere. Oh, snakes all over the place. I made sure they were suitably were they venomous. Poisonous? <laughs> no. Wait. Did you say simply venomous? Suitably venomous. By which I mean barely, barely you? at all. They're like rat snakes, Ash. It's not. They're not really poisonous. They're only technically poisonous. They're also <laughs> technically venomous because they're not plants. Right. <laughs> I'm Fine. learning things. <laughs> so, all right. So the guy is going to, in his hunger-starved haze, get up from his bed, stumble over to the counter, bite into the loaf of bread, and get mobbed by snakes. And then he'll yeah. have a snake. No, I left him some or, trail mix. Or he's going to bite into the loaf of bread and find a bunch of dead snakes. Why would the snakes be dead? I made sure that they had crickets to eat. So he's. <laughs> I run back and get the loaf of bread. <laughs> Don't, I didn't do anything to the trail mix. It's just a loaf of bread. <laughs> I, upon returning, punch Marcus in the shoulder. <laughs> you gonna eat that? <laughs> I left the bread for him. Oh. I, I'm not going to eat snake bread or steal his real bread. Oh, you bread. gotta trust Marcus. What are you, what are you talking, when he gets, when he's got snakes on the brain, he's probably kidding about it, probably. Snake brain. Probably. Snake brain. <laughs> 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 Kira and Marcus hiss at each other as we walk along. <laughs> Kira and Marcus exchange hisses while wiggling their arms. Snake handshake. <laughs> Snake shake. <laughs> <laughs>